We better just check. Ooh, yikes. Why won't you just leave me alone? Phones are verboten in here. We're not a library. It's my mum. She's always harassing me. I didn't ask for your life story. Your mum is my granddaughter. Don't speak about her like that. She's only doing her best. Your kids are always having a go at you. Well, if I'd been half the mother yours is, I probably wouldn't. Do you know what it's like sitting in a hospital bed with everyone staring at you and upset about you? She's the only one in ages who's spoken to me like she doesn't give a toss. What do you see when you look at her? A scary Mary. Rare beauty in her time, our Barbara. Talented singer and all world at her feet. Fifteen years ago, she was living in a skip in the back lane. Really? Chronic alcoholic, lost everything. <sighs> she stank too, bless her. Oh, nothing to live for, apparently, but she kept going. And here she is. No, yeah, well, couldn't she have aimed for a bit higher? <coughs> Don't knock it. She's queen of all she surveys here. And it comes with a flat upstairs. <sighs> Granny, I'm just so tired. You wigged in on a conversation, a private conversation, between me, Joe and Diane. And now your mother's blaming me for everything. And yes, you're right. I don't know what it's like to be in a hospital bed with a whole load of families staring at me. Because when I was ill in hospital, I'd driven everyone away and I was all on my own. Is that what you want? Why are you being so horrible? Because time is running out and you're letting it. <laughs> 